Welcome to Arts and Good. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to validate email address in Reposal by using regular expression. Plus, we are going to include regex. We are going to use raw string literal in our regular expression because it avoids escaping black flashes, which are used for escape characters in a regular expression. Let's create our regular expression pattern in our main function. And then we will have A to Z, at least one character, A to Z, and 0 to 9. dot underscore in any character from these plus in the dash and after this comes the add sign and after that we have a to z or at least one vector from these and a zero to zero to nine dot and dash so this over here up to here means at least one character in the range from per A to Z or 0 to 9 or one of the dash person sign pulse or dash. So this can be a lowercase too. It, it just means character from A to Z. And this represents the host name of the domain part. Then we have plus plus and backslash dot this dot separates the domain host name and label then we have again A to C Person 
dollar sign. P when we use a uppercase to Z, that means it's going to match the uppercase, but we are going to make this regular expression is uh, insensitive. So it will match uh, upper and lowercase. Correct. This last one, A to Z and two comma, this expression over here. This means that the DNS label of a domain that can have between two and 63 characters. And dollar sign means the end of the string. This is our raw string regular expression and we are going to match with the email. Now we are going to create our regular expression. This is our pattern so I will name it regular pattern. Now I'm going to create regular expression and I will name it regular expression object by calling regex and pop in our pattern and make it case insensitive by using regex underscore constants in I case. And now we are going to call regular expression match to match the email with our regular expression. And we need to have an email. So I will have one valid email of a string type email one and this will be set to um, some at domain.com and then I will have another string email to which is invalid email using the dot com some at domain and here we are going to pass in over here we are going to pass in one of our mail both of them and check uh, if it returns uh, true, then it will be a valid email. And if it returns false, then it will be invalid. So here we are going to use regex match. Regex match and pass in our email. And regular expression. So this will be our email one and our reg x. We are going to print the result with C out. C out. Email is Or we are going to use if that will be better. If we try this one, this one over here. If this 
it becomes true. Valid email. We are going to print email is valid. This will go better. Email is valid. Else we are just going to print invalid email. to check uh, our email one then I'm going to check uh, our email two also need to import IO stream at the top because we are using free out then include IO stream Another program. When we run our program, we can see it prints the email is valid. The first one is a valid email, valid email format. Up to dot com, and here dot com part is missing with the second email. So I'm just going to test now email two. Change to email two and save and run our program again. Now it prints uh, invalid email, so because this one is invalid, so our program is working fine. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Ascent Code. Keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.